All right, so here's our other rest day. I It is official. I am headed back on the trail tomorrow. Tom is flying back tomorrow. So we've just been kind of laying around all day. I've been getting videos done because I haven't been able to work on any of the videos while we've been out, but now I can. So every night I'll be able to do a video. But it's like right now I gotta play catch up. I've, I've uploaded five today <laughs> already and I have six more to do, I think. Maybe, that might be off, I don't know. But we don't have a whole lot going on today. We already had lunch. We ordered uh, from the pizza place, uh, but Tom got a salad. Uh, you know, eating healthy. But we'll be going back to the Scudic over here for dinner. They tempted me with the cheesecake last night. Tonight's my last night, so I'm doing it. Getting cheesecake. But yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about today, so I was just gonna tell you guys about the Earl Schaefer bus over there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Earl Schaefer was the first person to ever do a through hike of that Appalachian Trail. He did it in 1948, going northbound. And he did it in 124 days. And then he hiked it again, going southbound in 1965. And he did that in 99 days, which is pretty impressive. He came back and he hiked it again in 1998 for his 50th anniversary of when he first did it. And he was 79 at the time, which made him the oldest person to hike the Appalachian Trail. I think still today, right? Yes. Yeah, so still oldest person as of right now. It could change this year because we heard about a really old guy doing it. But when he did the through hike on in 98, he stayed at the lodge. So the bus over there, uh, apparently he was an avid collector of VW buses. So he donated um, that bus from his collection to the AT Lodge and it, it sits here, it still runs. They pull it in and out of the garage every day. <laughs> I don't know if they actually drive it or anything like that, but it's just a really cool story behind it. Pretty cool. Couldn't imagine doing that. I mean, he did it what seems like very fast. I mean, it's like three months for the second time that he did it. So he got it done in three months going southbound. And then he did it when he's 79. That's crazy. Amazing. All right, so yeah, just thought that was a really cool story. Other than that, we went through my pack again, went through all the food. It is clear that we had no clue what we were doing as far as food goes. But I think we got everything figured out now. Um, so my pack now weighs 21 pounds by itself and then I my, I weighed my food bag separately um, and it's four pounds so four pounds of food and then you got 2.2 pounds for one liter of water so that brings my pack weight to roughly 27 27 and a half pounds total and when we left it was 34 pounds when we got back it was 36 pounds so I don't know how, I don't know what happened there but uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm almost 10 pounds lighter right there. So, it's looking pretty good. Well, we we picked up food from Angela, and we picked up some food. Oh, yeah, from, I forgot about Angela, yeah. From, from that uh, other hiker that wanted to get rid of some food. Right, and we did a resupply. And, and we did a resupply, so yeah. we, we definitely had too much food. Too much food. Not only all of that, we just had too much food in general. What we thought was, like six days was really like 10 plus days so we were just carrying way too much way too much but we got to figure it out i'm feeling pretty good about it it's almost 10 pounds lighter that's a big deal 10 pounds man we're gonna be smoking down the trail now <laughs> and i'll see you in the your videos we'll, we'll probably say uh goodbye on camera tomorrow morning but we're both leaving about the same time so yep this looks fantastic, by the way, because you're like, you're the only thing in focus. Everything behind you is all blurred out. <laughs> Another thing that I thought about is I may be switching these shoes out. Because I really need something with a back if I'm going to be using these as a, a river crossing kind of deal. But I don't know. I kind of want to weigh them just to see what they're like. Because they're, they're really light, but I almost feel like they may be heavier than like Crocs or something like that. So, I don't know. Also, it's a lot cooler. It feels fantastic. It's not 90 degrees. It's like 70 something. Now you check the weather. 
feels fantastic. Yeah. Yep. We were talking about dinner and Jamie came up and asked us what we were doing for dinner and here we are. She's, she's taking Hi. us to Three Rivers. Yeah, I squirted out a lot. <laughs> I squirted out a lot. I can't get it done. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thanks. Okay, we are back at the AT Lodge. Uh, thanks again, Jamie, for taking us to dinner. I think we're her favorite people. What, what do you think? I think so too. Yeah. Because <laughs> she took us to breakfast before last time we were here. Um, yeah, the, so that was a big meal and I couldn't do it, so I took half of it back and then I just gave it to the other people in there because I don't think I'm going to eat that right before going hiking. It was a little too heavy. It was it was very easy to get rid of it. Very easy. <laughs> this is it for tonight. I'm about to start working on more videos. That's all I got. So I'm just going to end this. I'm getting back on the trail tomorrow and Tom is going back home. I'm going home. So. We'll have our goodbye on camera in the morning and all that stuff. And that is it. I will be in the wilderness again. So that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.